French cuisine is noted for its rich flavors, complicated preparation, and enticing presentation. On today's Style Watch, we introduce two French chefs. They're not in France, they're here in China. They're chefs who interpret the essence of French cuisine while adding their own personal touches. So let's go to Shanghai. Today, our host Jenny pays a visit to two of Xin Tiandi's finest restaurants. Meeting their master chefs, she learns how they reinterpret the essence of French cuisine with their own personal styles. Our first stop is Nice, which serves French food spiced up with a Mediterranean flavor. We're now joined by Alexandre Molina, the top chef at Xin Tiandi's Nice restaurant. Welcome, Alex. So Alex, have you always loved cooking? Always. My grandmother used to cook a lot. Uh, I used to watch her, you know, when uh, I was a young, young boy. Uh, she used to uh, be a good chef, Spanish, and uh, that's what probably I catch. Uh. So Alex, what made you follow your passion and actually become a chef? Because um, it was a passion for me to be a chef, uh, to create uh, dishes. Uh, like people enjoy, and uh, that's why they, they come back. This is the kitchen. It's where Alex gets to unleash his creativity and talent in culinary art. French food is best known for its rich taste, complicated preparation methods, and enticing presentation. But to reach such perfection, the chef has to undergo years of rigorous training. So maybe tell me a little bit about how you learned to a chef, where you went to school, and any embarrassing moments perhaps that you had when you were training. Yeah, I used to graduate in a school in Nice, uh, in a French river. And after that, uh, I remember when I was uh, working with Mr. Alain Ducas, uh, it used to be a very hard time for us, working a long hours a day, 14, 16 hours. Uh, so uh, I remember especially uh, doing uh, goose liver ravioli, it was something uh, to doing over and over and over until it's perfect, perfectly done, you know. It looks fantastic. And what are you eating? In French food, dining is the last link in the chain to reach perfection. Every stage is important, such as the combination of courses and the wines selected to complement the food. To the master chefs, seeing their food finally served at the table is a kind of self-fulfillment. So do you think anyone can become a chef or do you think you really need to have that certain something inside you to make you passionate about food? Yeah, I think you need to born with uh, probably uh, this uh, passion of to be a cook. Mm. So I don't think anybody can be uh, a good chef. You can learn to cook. Le Platane is Jenny's second destination. Different from the classic French food, this restaurant categorizes itself as Nouvelle French Cuisine, stressing the importance of fresh ingredients and attention to presentation. Amazingly, the executive chef here is a Singaporean. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. So Justin, tell me, how, come, how does a Singaporean become a French chef? Well, I think uh, it's by accident because I love to travel, things like this, so I end up uh, going to a training school in order to be able to go on board to be a sailor because I don't have a very good, uh, good academic. Once I started to go to school, the flavor of the kitchen, like making bread, made me become so uh, so-called uh, curious and want to know more. And that's why I started to be a chef, you know. So when I was sailing as a seaman, the captain, things like, Justin, it don't belong here. Because on Sunday, the, the sailors, 
they will relax, smoke, have their games, and anything. But I was, I was in the galley trying to make bread, start with some uh, stuffing, and serve them afternoon tea. So they think that they should go to the hotel school. Justin then went to Thailand to gain some professional training. It was here that he touched upon the art of French cooking. Now I've returned to Singapore. I went to fine dining French restaurant. From there, and one of my uh, good good buddy, I mean my friend, we wanted to start a restaurant. So I said, as a Chinese, you want to cook French, who will believe you? So the only way that what I did is I throw my apron away, packed my bag, got some saving, went to Europe, and worked in some of the two star and three star restaurant in uh, in in France, as well as UK. Such an experienced background has made Justin a master of French cuisine. His art was even recognized by Singapore's former premier, Li Kuan Yu. Justin worked in Li's private kitchen for 15 years. Justin said he is now trying to update traditional French cuisine and give it his own personal touch. Well, the olden style of French cuisine is uh, basically very rich, but the modern French cuisine is driven by ingredients but still uh, maintaining the taste, but not using too much butter, flour, and then when you taste, it's very, very pure and, and fine. So for me, French cuisine nowadays is, is very simple, but it's about taste-driven and ingredient-driven, of course, technique. Want to learn great tips from the chefs and follow suit at home? Don't waste your energy. It's only when you step into a top-class restaurant that you appreciate the true beauty of French culinary art.